I'm Sister Helen Abood. I was born and brought up here in Sydney, Cape Breton. I went to Holy Angels for all my school years, from grade one to grade 12. In 49, I uh, entered the Congregation of Notre Dame and made profession in 51, and then went on to study at St. Avex. I graduated in 57 and started to teach in 57. I taught at St. of X until um, 1989 when I retired. I was a, a professor in the home ec department and uh, later on became chair of the department teaching at the same time. And of course, we were always proud to say we were home economists because we felt we were following in the footsteps of St. Marguerite, who we claim was the first home economist. It doesn't say that actually in her writings, but uh, from the family life and the, what, how she worked with the children, teaching them sewing and cooking, that we felt that we had a right to claim her as our first home economist. And so we always felt blessed. And in fact, <clears throat> to think that the program was introduced by all sisters of the congregation. And until 1970 or thereabouts, we had only uh, sisters of the congregation on staff. The program was never still, it was always in evolution because of the changing times. That kept us dynamic. So just an indication of how many changes we did in the time I was there. We went from a Bachelor of Science in Home Economics to Nutrition and Consumer Studies, then to Human Nutrition, which it is now. And it was a, you know, not only a challenge for the faculty, it was a challenge for the students because they had to make a commitment to our changes and they had to be willing to accept. Otherwise, we'd have a, a disgruntled uh, student body and we never had that. We always... And I contend it's because they were all females up until 1977. It had that family atmosphere too. Most of the students lived at Mount St. Bernard, which was the residence for female students and where we lived. So we were in contact with them in the classroom and outside the classroom. Then I think the lab situations lent a great deal to that feeling of being close. And the students themselves appreciated the smallness and the community spirit. And I think it helped them to become the leaders that they were in their field. I do admire her, and I admired her for the qualities that she had, the qualities of leadership. When she wanted a thing done, she did it. She didn't wait for bishops or anybody else, you know, to tell her what she should do or what she should not do. Her writings reveal a woman of such strength and conviction such a leader.